Hi, welcome back to the Dylan Rounds case. Today, Andrew is not currently around. He's taking a short break. In the meantime, though, this individual steps in. A bit wild, a bit untamable. Who can control them? I don't know, that's a key question. But you know what else is a key question? Is today, where is Dylan? Is there any clues or traces at the likes of the mountain border between Nevada and Utah? In this video, we're going to take a look, maybe check the distance as well and see if there's any key locations that stand out, any mines, any small holes, potential caves and possible pathways to where Dylan could be or where a suspect may have taken Dylan. I mean, it's in the direction of the phone ping and within the area. So these little details could be tied or linked with it in some way. So let's get into it right now and I'll share it with you. So here we are zoomed out on the left, Nevada, on the right, Utah, and in the middle, that faint line going down the border. You can see that little yellow rectangle, which is there and we zoom in. And this is the border between Montello on the left and Lucin on the right. Lucin on the right, where Dylan lives and works, where his farm's at and the phone ping. On the left, Montello, where the likes of Jim Brenner used to live and where the wads was like Kurt lives and so on as well as I believe maybe that barbecue as well that went on around the time before Dylan disappeared. Now, the main focus is in between because whilst we've looked at the right hand side and there's been searches done and investigations, vice versa, same's happened within Montello and the outer skirts, as well as me doing an extensive map analysis of the place and all the different locations. Make sure to check that video out if you haven't already. So chat, Today, we're looking straight down the middle because has it been searched extensively or only a little bit? Okay, that's the question. Now, at best, maybe it was Lance and possibly Ty that might have gotten near to the area. You can correct me as we go along in the chat. You can share your opinions, your thoughts reactions and other theories as we go along okay and if this location has been searched feel free to say whether it be a certain spot or the whole lot now when we look at this it doesn't look that big but obviously looks are deceiving when you compare this aerial viewpoint to in real life and you would have seen it in lance's video when they first visited Jim's trailer for the first time in Montello and they were looking uh, east. If you remember, somewhere in this area, they were looking east and he was pointing in that direction. And, you know, it's fairly long here. In real life, it looks bigger. So you can see the length and the extent, the depth of it, the border and the mountainous area in between. Now, it doesn't go on for miles and miles and miles, but it's it's long enough. One thing that's got to be considered whilst analysing this is it's probably a tourist spot in certain areas, at least, for hikers. It might not receive lots and lots of visitors all the time, but there might be moments where you get an influx because it's a it's a place to look at to hike out but also get nice views. You see Pilot Peak there, Graham Peak further back east. I think there might be another spot as well marked. So that's what we've got to take in mind. And whilst we're talking through this, I don't know if I'll run the poll immediately, but if some activity has gone on within the border area, whether it be right on top of the mountainous area, by the slope, the side of it, or the base of the mountain, which side do you think it occurred on? Whether it be Dylan being dumped or the suspect, you know, doing something dodgy in the area. 
Do you think it's on the left-hand side of the border, so Montello, or do you think it's on the right-hand side of Lucin? Or, as an additional option, do you think it happened right on the edge or right on the border on top? So like the peak area, right on top. Now I know the line is straight and this goes over into Montello. Let's just take that into mind, okay? The border, this white one, this line is here. So there's a bit of overlapping in terms of the mountainous area. It goes in and out. Here, it's on Montello side. Here, it's more on the Lucin side. So I just wanted to get these tiny little points added in, okay? Now, I don't know what area you want to start from. We could start from this bit here because you could argue this is the least likely spot, if you want to call it that, okay? The reason why I say that is because of the height, the sheer height of this peak, as you can see in front, and as well, the altitude, and you'll see the snow as well, so it, it will make sense in a second, okay? So, just zoom in a little bit. It does seem a bit flatter here. I'm currently facing north, okay? Just want to rotate round, just get an idea of where we're at. Okay. As you can see in the distance, is the highway, 93 Highway. And if you follow that to the left, over that way, it goes to Wendover, okay, kind of a little small town. In recent time, Ty Corbin visited because he wanted to go to McDonald's, but because of the queues and traffic, he had to go to Burger King's so he couldn't get his apple pie, okay? Anyway, more importantly, looking on, we just face north again. Looking on the right-hand side, I have scraped by this area. Not up close exactly, but more over here, near Salt Spring. Because if you remember, in my, I don't know, a few days ago, I did a video of Wendover, the map analysis, as well as sun tunnels in the distance, because Sunshine, the user, wanted a video on that, so I did. So I did actually pass through this area, looking at the ground, the base of it. And I did make a few reference notes to, you know, the mountainous area up there, but I didn't go in deep or look at it properly. So that's just to familiar, familiar, I can't say it, to, you know, to rejog your memory of where I was at last time. So it was right here. And whilst we're looking at the ground, obviously you've got this main dirt road, which, you know, if you keep following, eventually goes to Sun Tunnel and Dylan's farmland. Okay, into Lucim. But we just turn left here. A bit of a crossroad, right? You can see all those track marks once again. A few vehicles coming by. And when you look at it that way, that's now looking west. Keep on going that way, you eventually get into Montello. So let's just start from this area here at least. So we're currently on the Utah side of the border. And if we're imagining it that one of the suspects, whoever it might be, you know, I know people will say Jim Brenner can't be responsible for being in an area like this because of the height, altitude, his fitness, lacking, his height, size and everything. Yeah, he could have had someone else assist him, someone younger. You never know. Just take that, just bear that in mind, okay? So what could have happened... And I might as well just do it from the beginning, just so it's just efficient, okay? Zoom out. Just go slightly out the border. There we go. Dylan's farmland, his grain shed. Let's say something bad happened here, okay? Around this area. Then he was taken away by a suspect either right or left, and we'll do it from the bottom to begin with, went down the road, through the gate, ongoing, because there is um, a thin dirt road, as you can see, just there. It's a bit rough. Eventually turned right, okay, because there is, um, there is a road somewhere. Okay. Eventually got onto this dirt road here, 
the main one, which goes in and out, as you can see, as I did last time, all the way down here, if you remember, getting to this end point, getting to potential crossroad area, which is at the bottom of the mountainous area, going west up this way, okay? And this is where we slow down. If someone's driving along, I mean, it's it's a normal dirt road to be able to drive up, so that checks out there. Now you've got a pathway which goes up that way. You can correct me as we go along as well. Are these all dirt roads for vehicles or is there limitations and restrictions? You know, when does it start becoming a footpath only? That's what we've got to understand. So you've got this winding road which goes in and out. Bit of elevation, but seems doable. What do we have? On this side a little bit of mountainous area here but there's not too much going on I'm, I'm looking for the depth i'm looking for the um anything that stands out or looks unusual and let me just say something once again people are going to say this map is outdated it is but caves don't just magically disappear completely, okay? I know there might be exceptions, but just uh, be patient as we go along, okay? Because that's what I'm looking for. Anything that stands out, any shadows, dark patches, blind spots, okay? Do you know like here where it looks like a pathway? You see? That's what I'm talking about. Got the main road there, Salt Spring. At any point, where it'd be right at the end of this mountainous region, this area, the border. Here, or just a bit further up that way, which we will get to, could have turned off at a certain point and then parked up, disposed of Dylan, dragged him somewhere, like... This area here still looks like a road, but to the left, as it cuts off here, it looks more like um, a pathway. Could have gone up this way, as you can see. It gets a bit tighter, it gets a bit more shallow up this way, as you can see. But there is a few areas where it looks a little dark. I don't know if that's vegetation or it might be cracks in the rock. Okay. Now, a few different entrance points, if you call it that. All the different, like, pathways. Now, if there's a lot of pathways, you can say maybe it's a populated area at times. Quite a few people come and go. With taking that in mind, that could rule out Dylan being placed in an area like that. Because if you've got a lot of visitors, at some point, they're going to come across Dylan, aren't they? You know, you tend to go somewhere a bit more quiet, not visited as much. I mean, it's like with, what could I say? Like, you might get walkways here or something where you might get a lot of dog walkers. You're not going to get a criminal hiding a body in an area like that because with all the dog walkers, at some point, one of the dogs might detect a body and then that's it, game over. So you get my point. We'll just look at the other side of this mountainous area. It's pretty flat, like there's not too much that stands out, not much uniqueness. You've got trees, bits of vegetation. You don't seem to have any mines here at the moment. There's no trailers or anything like that, or cars or anything. From the looks of it, I don't know what that white stuff is. From the looks of it, we are currently facing uh, east, okay? This area as a whole, yeah, you got that divide in between the border. So this is a way you can cross over the border, which is in between the mountainous area, which you got there, and a little bit on the right. 
so you can cross over that way so that's a shortcut I guess but from the looks of it at least so far on the Montello side there are less access pathways to get up to the mountainous area or they don't seem as visible or clear as you see if you're on the Utah side you see all those access points there there's a lot more on this side and if there's more access points on one side than the other then that makes you think maybe the opposite of that could be where activity took place okay we also got to take in mind the population of both areas is fairly low compared to other states okay i'm not saying the whole of utah okay because that would be inaccurate but in terms of Lucin and Montello, I should say, even when you combine the total population, I think it's still fairly small, if I'm correct in saying. So, I don't think it would be down this area. There's not enough elevation or height, or there's not enough to hide here, is there? So, we need to work our way up on the mountainous area. Now, I don't know what side you want me to start with. Maybe we should stick to the right-hand side on the Utah side, Lucen. Okay, stick to that for now. So, as we've cut out this bit here, okay, we move across. You've got this crossroad, as I said. You've got the road that goes up and over onto the other side of the border, Montello but we don't need to go there yet. We just need to move up and look at all the way over there. Now, I don't want to spend too long at each spot because I understand it might be a bit boring, okay? So apologies for that. But I just don't want to miss anything at all, okay? Because when it came to Kenny Beach, there was a lot of areas to look at closely. So we go up here, it looks like there's a bit of a pathway. I don't know if that's parking there, because there's a bit of a clearing. But it does get very steep, so this is likely where it ends. Now, you look for the rocks on the side, any ridges, any potential caves, anything like that where you could stuff, hide, dump something and no one would ever know. Because if Kenny Veach did it, supposedly, okay, and said he'd never be found out there in the desert, he must have been able to hide himself despite being so vast and open in a way. So the same could apply here. Okay, that's not letting me zoom in. Gets very steep at this point, but then, have you seen that? It's like, um, it's like on a ridge, an overhang, as you can see, drops down. There's not much going on here. You got this white stuff there. I don't know what that is. It might be snow. It kind of looks circular, two big circles, doesn't it? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Not too much going on there. Just drop down a little bit. Okay. Move on to the next part. Okay. Now we've got some interesting stuff going on. So I'm just moving back a little bit, just so I can zoom back in. One thing I noticed was we've just went that way there, as I said, the crossover. Go to the right here, in and out. There seems to be something like some buildings. First of all, here, you got two trucks or two vehicles one with a trailer and then there's I don't, is that a water tower some kind of farming building maybe by the way this is on the loose inside just so you know okay seems to be roads around it as well and then you've got this little thing here i don't know what that is is it an incomplete building a shelter a shed some electrical thing, I'm not too sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So getting an idea, there's still a few little buildings very nearby to the mountainous area, which is interesting. 
as you can see. Now you follow that road, it drops down to here, like a gully or something. And there seems to be something there, but I don't know what that is. It looks a bit reddish, and then next to it is like a square box, a white one. So is that more buildings? And why is it so close to the mountain? Is it connected to it? Is it to do with mining, maybe? Let me know your thoughts. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So it, we've been so winding, this is likely just for walking up. I'm trying to look around on the left hand side, on the right hand side, so it's not much. I guess when you're actually there, depending where you are, it can feel like you're boxed in, especially when it comes to walking down a canyon. I can get very narrow, a bit claustrophobic. Now we get to this point, there's a bit of discoloration as it stands out, doesn't it? Compared to the ground and terrain up ahead, this spot here, kind of yellowish. I don't know, is that salt, some kind of deposit, different type of rock, mining, maybe? Hmm. There's a few dark spots here, but that could be just shadows of trees, so we can leave that out. We've got a pathway here, which goes up, but then once again, it kind of gets to a dead end, probably just because it gets too steep. So it kind of makes you think, these pathways that go so far up, who made them? Was it just people in the past hiking, getting up to a certain point, and then saying, oh, we can't go up anymore, and then turning back? because it doesn't look like there's any signs in the area. Well, let me know, is there any hiking signs? As you can see, we're starting to get much higher up with the elevation. We get onto the ridge line of it. You can see. So, uh, yeah. Work our way back down again. So we've checked that, we check that spot out. Check this spot out. Look back the way we came, Utah, that way. Looks like another one what you could drive up to a certain point. And look, look at this. That's That patch there, weird shape. That patch there. That patch there. And a few more patches. Looks very patchy, weird shapes. So it is this, to, it looks like it could be mining, maybe. And if it is, then... Is that the mine what Lance and Ty visited, or maybe Scott Natal, or were they in Montello looking at the mines? I know someone said there's about 14,000 in total. I don't know if that's true or not, but if that is the case, there's quite a lot, to be fair. So um, there's only so many you can look at. And if they've been marked off in between, that's good. So if someone knows if this is a mine mining area, and it has been investigated, um, feel free to leave a comment down below so then we can help check things off like a checklist, okay? And also, as I said, whilst I'm going along in the chat, you can leave comments if you see anything that stands out or if you see any potential routes, access points, possible dumping grounds where Dylan could be. I mean, you can see a few shadows on the left, lower down, that could be like um, the ridge and overhang of a bit of a, the mountain. It's like, is there any caves? I know the theory has been, or previous, was talking about could Dylan be hidden in a cave? Was he dumped in one? Did he get trapped inside one? Same discussion was about Kenny Veach, maybe much stronger with him because it was all to do with a cave, the M cave. So there is quite a few mines within the area spread out. How many caves are there? That's the question. Are they all situated at the border on both sides? Or they're spread out? So yeah, quite a bit of rock. Not much at the top, so we don't really need to really focus in that spot too much. Also, the width of this area is a little bit wider and more open now. You know, as the elevation gets steeper, it does open up a little bit. 
okay? Not seeing anything else emerge. We are seeing these white patches. Then it could be salt, something salty. I'm not really seeing too much of interest or suspicion. The rock texture is lacking. I mean, you got some there, as I said, but yeah, not too much hair. Zoom out a bit. You got another access point here. White again. Just go up this way. It's a bit dark there on the left hand side, but that doesn't look much. There's a white thing there that stands out. That could just be a rock, but that's what I mean. That's the sort of stuff you could be looking out for. Another thing to take in mind, a bit random, but I'll just share a little story with you, is whilst being in these mountainous areas and you're searching about, whether it be because of the sun and a reflection of it, and rocks, or some other kind of object, there can be flickering, like there's a light in the mountainous area higher up, flickering. An individual called Jay Chuck captured that on camera when he was in, I think it might have been Joe May Canyon, as he was walking around, and... It was either a reflection with a rock or it was a, just a stray balloon that landed, deflated and got caught on a rock. But because of the material of that balloon, it created a shimmering effect when the sunlight reflected off it. So that can cause distraction at times. Okay. Not much in this area. It does... I don't know what you'd call it, like another dead end because once you get up and over here it does drop down can you see and that's that's very steep even by looking at it on here so I don't know if you would be able to go up and over can you see how it drops it doesn't look as bad it doesn't look as bad from that angle we're starting to see a few bits of rock now yeah this is it okay this is a key spot. Actually, no, is it, is it a key spot or not? I'm getting mixed up. You see this area here, how you got a black line. Well, that looks like a crack in the rock or a hole in the ground, or there's a split between this rock and that rock. And if it's like a small little alleyway, if you want to call it that, something could have been dumped in between in that dark pit, that dark hole maybe people wouldn't know about it. So that's what we've got to look out for. And you start seeing a bit more emerging here. The darkness, dark patches, you wouldn't see it as clear. So I guess with moving towards Pilot Peak, heading north, you are seeing a bit more um, feet. You see more features now showing up. Another dead end in this area. Not seeing too much. Way too steep up there. Okay, look at that rock texture. You see how much clearer it is? But that just seems too high up for anything to be happening. But this area though, whoa, what's that? What's that there? That looks a bit green, that looks a bit reddish. Might not be anything. But you see how dark it is there? If a rock was there, the ground itself, you can't see anything, it's just pure blackness because of the shading and the darkness. So just think what you could hide in a spot like that, providing it's concealed as well. So uh, yeah, worth taking in mind. I've not seen any like track marks. It's to be expected though. Okay, so we've covered most of that point, I'd say. Just come back down here back onto that road, okay, on the, loo on the loose inside. Very brown here, black, brown, reddish. Uh, someone did give an explanation in a previous video, but I can't remember that point, unfortunately. But once again, if you look here, there isn't any like proper roads, though we actually do see a track mark, okay? Very faint, but it's here. If we move up, I just don't think it shows exactly on camera, but I can see it. Can you see that there? 
as two white lines. Definitely like an ATV of some sort, doesn't it? And that's pure off-roading. So it's like, who's been this way? What type of vehicle? What type of person? Goes all the way up here, as you can see. I hope you can see it, because I can see it. In that direction, heading west. Unfortunately, I don't know. Oh, you got another white patch down the right. Track marks keep on going. Where do they go? Just so I don't miss anything in between. I'll just look on the left-hand side. Just to see what the rock's like. Not too much there. Are they caves? Any of them caves area, maybe? Or is it just overhangs of rock? Something white there. And up that way is pretty blank. Let's just focus back on the track marks. It goes up here. And then does it fade away or does it keep on going? Can't see anything over that way. That does look quite... Oh, shit, I hate when it does that, you twat. Over that way, it looks a bit too... Um, you could, it's a bit too steep. Come on. I hate it when this malfunctions. I can't see any more track marks, unfortunately. It does make you think, though, when there is track marks and it just comes to an abrupt halt, it's like... What happens from there? Do they just turn back and go the way they came? But why are the track marks so perfect and you don't see like another set by the side as like them coming back the way they came? It's only one set of tracks going in one direction. Just like how we saw with the footprints, you know, at Dylan's trailer near his vehicle, the whole power wash situation, and you saw footprints near to the wheel of the car, and then they went off behind. Um, so far back and then stopped and it's like well did they just suddenly stop walking like where did they go from there haven't seen any other buildings i'm just disappointed by the track marks it would have been nice to see where they went but you just can't really see anymore i mean yes you can see these pathways but these are just basic pathways you see it curls around, so this could be maybe a tourist area, a hiking bit. I bet some hikers or some people familiar with the area might be pulling the hair out right now thinking, oh my god, this is a waste of time, man. Look at the area, so open and vast, so vast, you know, fine in no time, man. Okay, Silver Heels, calm down. More rocks. Yeah, that's what I pointed out before. Apologies. This again. What's that little white thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's that little cracks in the ground. It's hard to see, but interesting. There's a rock there at the base. And a big one. Right, can't see much here, can't see much there. And then, is that Pilot Peak, or we, have we got to that yet? No, we haven't even got to that shit. Okay, so I didn't see anything in that area. Nothing there. On the right-hand side, what went up this way? Oh, a few different coloured rocks now. They're brownish colour. So that's kind of new. Is that a cave there? That black hole? Is that a cave? I don't know. Huh. Once you get to that point, way too steep, way too impractical up here. So we go back down, come back down. So, so far, we've covered all the way down there up to this point here, okay? Move on to this section. Much wider now. Oh my god, it's going to take too long, this. <laughs> Even I've picked up on it. There's an overhang. That's interesting. 
Could that be in like an overhang into a cave or something? The reason why I word it the way I do is because I, I'm not familiar with this area and how would I be? But there are people that have explored searching for Dylan in this area, feel free to leave a comment. Or if you just have visited the area way back in the past, did you see anything that stood out of interest? Why is it when I zoom out, it zooms in? That's so stupid. Okay. So the texture is improving now. You've seen more rocks, you've seen more ridge lines, more overhangs, and more texturing and depth to it. Okay. Another access point here goes in and out. As well, after the video, if you have seen anything and you want to leave a timestamp, feel free to do so. Comes round here, bit of a blind spot area. You see what I'm saying, bit of a blind spot area. But still, not much going on. Not much there either. Nope. Nope. Move on to this side. Work our way back down. Less access points now, or less pathway, so maybe this is becoming not as popular, the area. Come on, stop messing around technology, pissing me off. The quality of that rock. Apologies if the commentary is a bit flat at times, it's one of those things where there's only so much you can talk about as you're going along. And uh, as for music, I used to use music in uh, the background at times, but I used it once and then some absolute twit ended up claiming copyright on the piece of music I used, and the original piece of music was copyright free, and, it, and the owner said it was usable, and then some third party nobody spastic ended up saying, oh, it's mine, wasn't even his, idiot. That's why I don't use music as much now, it's too risky. YouTube is very dodgy for music, can't trust anything. So let me know if you see anything, if anything stands out. Not too much over this way. No. Work way back down. Now you're getting these like, do you call them canyons? as they go up, winding, narrow pathway, like that. Hmm. Not too much showing here. A few cracks, goes right to the top. We go over here, that should be Montella. Okay, let's speed it up now. Nothing there, nothing there. Positive there, uh, it's messing with your eyes, this, but it does drag on this, you know what I'm saying? There's too many, too many spots to look at, to be fair. It goes in and out. But you can see how um, patchy it is now because of all the trees. See, that's what you gotta take in mind. It is a quite a bit of vegetation at a certain point. It does make you think, does that play a role? Right, be in terms of concealment, restrictions and being able to what the fuck happened then? Restrictions and being able to like bury someone, hide evidence. Not much is uh, showing now. Move down here. I think we've actually got a named location now, finally. My um I would say that word out, but <laughs> I don't know if YouTube is very dodgy when it comes to certain words, as you know. Obviously, this means something else, but when you read it out, it's read out the same as if you used to say another word. And I know YouTube can censor it, so I'm not going to say it. But you've got a canyon there. The spring. Is this area well known? 
Is this for mining? You're getting these light coloured patches again. So maybe that could be a sign. Something there as well. Uh, what's this here? Uh, another patchy area. Is that my new word? Patchy. Bit of vegetation. Seems... Is that by vehicles? That looks like a vehicle track. I could be wrong. But damn, that's, that's steep if it is. Fuck off. That's steep if it is. We're getting some dark spots again on the side, but that's way too steep to be even considering. So where does the road end? It ends here at that bit. And then it just looks like a footpath that it goes on. Yeah, okay. There we go. So that's one of the first named ones I looked at. Now, what's this here? Bit weird. Um, is that a dried up pool, pond, lake? Weird shaped thing there. Could just be a road, but it just looks a bit weird and how it just ends. So that's like a weird shape. Let me know what you think that is. Natural, man-made. So we've done all down there. We're on to Willow Canyon now, as you can see. A few different routes you can go up here. Hmm. Willow Spring here. But once again, I don't know, it just looks very bland. And I think we can rule this area out because it's way too steep up that way. Even my phone's having a hard time navigating. <laughs> Useless. Let's just click on Pilot Peak right now. I don't know if I clicked on this last time or not. Actually, I did. I'll just go for it quickly. You would have seen this. If you haven't, you can look back at something and pause the video just to have a better look. But yeah. As you can tell, most of these photos are taken on the road and not actually on the peak point, unless that one is. Um, but most of these are on ground level, so that does say, it does say something, doesn't it? That even no one attempts going on Pilot Peak because it's not possible. And this is the next point what we've got to talk about. And I don't think it really matters as much because of the month, but, you know, if it was done at a cold time, you, look, that's, no, no shit, but yeah. If it being cold, the higher you're up, the colder it can get, the altitude as well, it's harder to breathe, You've got to take all those facts into mind. And like with the Kenny of each case, a point in time, depending when, and okay, it might not apply here, but I'll just bring up the factor anyway, is when you're going to higher spots like this and it gets colder and colder, are you prepared for it? If you're walking on lower ground where it's hot, warm, uncomfortable, you haven't got much clothing on, you get to this point, do you have jackets? Do you have uh, gloves and stuff? If not, you're going to feel, feel the bad effects. You're going to a bit of a cold trap from hot to cold or it could be the vice versa where your body is might go into shock. You could be in danger. So that's one thing worth taking into mind. So as for, what's it called? Wagon Springs, I forgot the name. As for the mining one down that way and this one here, it's just, it doesn't stand out to me as suspicious or a spot where activity could go down. Not at all. I haven't been able to find any holes in the ground, like any mine shafts, so that's unfortunate, that. I thought I would have done. Oh, what's that? Does anyone know what that is? Coordinates are the bottom right corner of the screen. Is that to do with mining? Some kind of business? It's just these, like, random, either abandoned or quiet buildings just scattered about, and we saw a couple of them. Um, over that way, past Willow Canyon. 
Apologies if there's any background sound. There's some work being done outside. I mean, it's unbelievable. The amount of fucking work being done outside, like, it's never ended. It's been going for like 10, 12 months. What the fuck? Right, let's skip past this point because it's too populated with uh, vegetation and shit. Right, another turning point there, pathway. And then, oh, there we go. We've got a, a bit of a normal area. And this is, you know, quite near to the mountainous area, as you can see. But nothing dodgy there. You've got, is that like a lake, a little pool, water on both sides? Shed there. A few buildings there. A house as well from the looks of it. So fairly normal. Satellite dish there from the looks of it. Uh, I think a trampoline there. So fairly normal. I mean, in the middle of nowhere, right, isn't it? You get a good view over that way if you live there. Look at that. That works out, I guess. But very remote, so you're a bit vulnerable. Not much up that way. No. Unlikely. Oh, what's this called? Bettridge Creek. Okay. Much going on here. Not really. Seems unlikely. A few different options to go up. Other thing you got to consider. I bring it up now is like when you are going into these areas, you know, you're not quite sure, not for certain, like how far you can go up them. Like when J. Chuck went up the ravines in Jome Canyon, when you look at them here, they looked exactly the same. You got these different gullies, these different sections and pathway. Do you go up that one or do you go up this one or do you go up this one here? Or that one, okay? And when J. Chuck tried, there were dead ends once you get so far up. Was it because of the extreme uh, gradient? Well, in a way, in certain areas, yes. But for other parts, it's just because of the rocks and the trees, the amount of them. It was obscuring his line of sight and vision. And you couldn't get past them because it's so thick with vegetation. So depending on the month of when... You know, Dylan missing, what's the vegetation like in May? Is it growing well? Is it just developing? You know, is the area exposed and bare or is it concealed and covered? That can play a part as well. And there have been search and rescues. Have they taken dogs up in this area or not needed? Where do you get those... Uh, can't see too much. I know you can go back in time, but I probably don't need to do it up this area too deeply, unless there are leads or discussions. But as you can see, just roughly, there's not much going on here. I mean, mm, what's more likely for, if, if it was an area like this, what, for Dylan to be buried in the ground or to be dumped in a mine shaft, or to be dumped in a cave, or in a small crack in the rocks, wedged somewhere. That's what we're trying to understand. What's more likely? Up here, not too much. Dead ends, once again. More dead ends here. Elevation not as extreme now. How far away? I'll say that way. Okay. I'll skip this part slightly because there's not much going on. No buildings, nothing like that. Oops, it's glitching again. Apologies. It goes very steep again, the ridge line. Look at that. You see? And as I was saying, the way it goes in and out, Bald Eagle Mountain there, Utah on that side, Montello over that way. So it, where it going in and out of the borders, it can get a little bit confusing to some people, maybe. Not much there to report on. You got these mounds here, like 
zebra print almost. What's that about? Or what's caused that? A digger or something? Excavation or natural? Let me know. As well, whilst going through this video, you know, sometimes you get these live, live premieres just to chat itself can be more important of it in the, than the video. A bit stupid that, the way that's worded, but it can be true at times, you know. As a video like this is ongoing, talking about this stuff, someone could come in with even more important information, an update on something. Could be directly to do with this area or something else. And then other people, whilst they're talking, might share ideas. Because although you can do it in a, a video, standard uh, recorded video comment section, it's not live, so you're not getting the live reaction, the live response rate as you are here. So there's that to take in mind. Now, once we get to this area, kind of interesting, okay? Lucin Airport over that way. A few more pathways and roads here. Look at that, huh? You got that uh, farm, barn or something. A few vehicles outside. I don't know why it's connected to, because there's not much present. Has that got anything to do with Dylan Rounds? Does he own this or is it somebody else? And if it is someone else, who is it? Because you, I can't really see any other houses nearby. And this just looks like a barn. Interesting. Anyway. Much wider and open here. Probably more accessible and easier. Patterson Pass Spring. Can't really see much of them. Nothing stands out to me. I mean, everyone might have a different reaction and response, but it's just when you're in certain areas, you, you stand out and you think, whoa, this area gives off a certain ambience or feeling to it where something could have happened, something bad could have happened. This area, though, patchy, open, vast, but little small bushes scattered about. That's kind of interesting. Whoa, why has it done that? God damn it. And then it's up and over, but... I mean, it's called Patterson Pass, so I'm a, does that mean you can pass over it? Sounds a bit so that, but it's just because in Jome Canyon there's a place called Wild Horse Pass, and people have gone over that, crossed over on foot, so can you do the same here? I don't know. Though, from the looks of it, you can, on the Montello side, there's, the, there's that path that goes west all the way down that way. So you can walk up to it, but I don't know if you can cross over. It doesn't look like it. God damn. Look at that. The way it drops down. A little bit extreme. Okay. That pathway goes up there. Way up that way. Let's just follow it quickly, if it will let me. And where does it go there? Oh, it just keeps on going. You're like teetering on the tip. <laughs> that's, a bit of a that's a bit of a tongue twister. Drops down at an angle. Pathway's faded a little bit. Why is it so black? Like, what's this? Is it like dirt, mud? different type of rock, just looks darker compared to the other side. And then the pathway ends here, it kind of fades away. So I don't know what happens there. Maybe you go off yourself and eventually reach Pilot Peak over that way. Hmm, yeah. Let's return back onto the loose inside though. Okay. There we go. McGinty Ridge. Anyone heard of that before? Much going on. Hmm. I think when we get to the other side, I'm not going to spend as long, okay? Because I understand it's probably a bit too repetitive. It's just hard trying to balance looking at all the key points whilst making sure you don't miss anything out. But then again, I guess maybe if I did previous map analysis videos of a ridge of a long area i'll probably just do a quick summary first then part one part two part three over time and this is just like an all-in-one 
Um, I mean, there's pathways, but and he goes up to a certain point, and you know, okay, you've got to consider not everything is a pathway, not everything is man made. Some of it is could be like a little river, a little stream, you know, water's trickling down from the top of the mountain and coming down like a spring. So I've got to take that in mind, okay, I'm not completely dismissing it. So here it's not much is going on. Governor's Spring, Bald Eagle Mountain. So is this like a tourist spot? Like, yeah, look at this. You see that path, it goes winding in and out. This is sort of place where probably hikers would go. Oh, shit. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Is there any pictures at least? What? I want pictures. Hmm. No pictures. Disappointing. So what does that mean? What, no one's visited it? It's not accessible? I don't know. Normally there's photos of peaks. Even Hayford Peak, I think. Um, even Sheep Peak. There's, like, photos there. And not many people go there either because it's in the middle of nowhere. What was that called then? Tunnel Spring Number One. That's a weird one. Tunnel Spring Number One. What the hell? Tunnel spring number two. Why is it called... There's no tunnels there, is there? It's not. It's nothing to do with sun tunnel, is it? Where's number three? Or does it end at number two? Yeah, it ends at number two. That's weird. It's just the name of the place, probably. Not much there. Too bumpy... Coal Bank Springs, is that name to do with the mine? What's down here? Patchy. Not much there. Hmm. No, not much. Not much at all. Are we nearly there? Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly at the end of it. Okay. That's a relief for some people. <laughs> Bit steep there, isn't it? Look at that. I'm sure there was some areas in the past where it, the texture was a lot smoother. Right, we'll leave it there. We will skim right over the top at the very end. So that's it for the side of Lucin, Utah. Okay, we've covered it. We've covered it from all the way down here at the very bottom, at the very bottom, past Pilot Peak, different canyons, the mining one, the spring can uh, wagon, Bald Eagle Mountain, and here, the end point. This road here is the one I followed previously, if you remember when I did my map analysis of the, the locations, okay? To put in perspective, if I can successfully locate it, bear in mind I haven't got the uh, uh, markers, but I think visually I'm starting to remember it. Here is like where that that default marker was put for the phone ping, which 15 mile radius looking that way goes over the mountain top and into Montello, as I said. Now we get here, we are looking south. In the distance, you've got Pilot Peak, and we're in Montello. We're on the Nevada side, crossed the border, okay? And we'll start this way. Okay. Not too much going on here. Oh, what's that? So from the looks of it, on this side at least, it's just a bit more open, so I might not have to spend as long, okay? Where there's lots of trees and it's very flat and there's no holes. And you could say, well, why don't you look a bit slower or deeper? Well, you can't be really looking out for disturbance of land because if this is old imaging, you know, there's no point looking too deep at the ground itself. Now... You got a main, is this a road, a walkway? It looks like a road. 
the way the mark is, is it caused by tracks. Do you see how it just comes to an end right here? All the way down there and it just ends here. Why though? I don't understand. And then it goes up this way. Bit, bit of an angle to be honest. Is that more for walking? Because it doesn't seem practical the way it is. Like It's like zigzagging almost. And you've got like a, lots of trees there. Look at all them. Now just imagine you're trying to do some kind of aerial imaging flying over. All those trees and then all those like rocks there. Could Dylan be anywhere here? Look how, just look how many trees, look how you could be under a tree, buried nearby, there's rocks and everything. Damn, that would take forever to look at though. So that's that's the complexity of it in certain areas. As you can rule out the impractical ones where it's a bit higher up. Whoa, what's that? Okay, is that snow? What's that? Is that snow? I know you can get little traces of snow. Do you know, like how you get over that way near Bald Eagle Mountain? So it could just be snow, but it's not a trailer. It can't be a trailer, can it? No? That's snow, it has to be. Yeah, because you, you, you're getting little remnants and bits. The more you see of one thing, the less um, suspicious it looks, I guess. Kind of steep here. I just want to look at the more secluded spots where it looks not as accessible or not visited as much. You know that overhang there. Could it? Could something be concealed? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Quite smooth the texture in there, so not much is on display. Quart, Quartzite Canyon, is that a name of a crystal? Or no, that's probably spelt differently. A few pathways, but as I said, it's just there's too many trees. Yeah. I mean, drones, helicopters could be very useful in an area like this for detecting something. It just take too long to do manually on here. But what I do encourage is if you do want to look at this area or nearby, it's worth doing so because look at the amount of detail and stuff that goes on. You got rocks, you got trees. Yeah, there's just so much to look at, to be fair. Bald Eagle Mountain. Lucin is on that side, other side. Can't really see anything else. Got some water there. Okay, interesting. A few patches. East Canyon it's called there. And a building nearby. I took off the markers of the last... Um, Analysis I did in Montel because it get too cluttered to be honest. There are like official pathways here and stuff, and then look at that zigzagging all over the place. That's definitely for walking on, right? Yeah, bit of a clearing there. Um, a few rocks, but just nothing too dodgy that stands out to me, to be fair. I said apologies if this video is a bit boring and but I do understand there are some people that do like the map analysis videos so I mean me personally I don't mind doing them oh, okay okay right interesting so I think this could be a mining area from the looks of it you know when you, you, know, when you zoom in you start seeing things emerge you got that pool there but then look I was like, is that some kind of shed? Maybe? I said, if you ever want the coordinates, pause the video and the bottom right corner of the screen, as you can see, hopefully they do show, but maybe it might be missing part of the numbers or something when I zoom in. Um, Some trailers. This must be for mining or 
maybe for chopping down trees, one or the other. Is that a van or a truck? Trailer. You got yet yeah, more of that, that pit there, whatever that is. And then what's that? Is that a gate? That looks like a gate, some black line. But there's no road. Or is it a trailer? I don't know. We'll just work up this way very quickly. I mean, I know where uh, you can't go too far up because if you're dragging a person, especially if it's dead weight, like dead body weight, then it's just going to be so much harder to do. So I do always consider that. But it's that other question of, if it's not Dylan, could it be evidence? Could it be an item? You know, you've seen it in a, uh, okay, it's filmed, but you've seen it where someone might have got killed. Then the person ends up going elsewhere, going to a lake, going to a reservoir, a waterfall, so, and then dumping a weapon in there. Or going to a canal, the docks, and dumping something there, weighing it down so it can't be found. So there's all kinds of methods and reasons and motives. But this definitely has to be with mining, because look at this area, or at least a quarry. I covered that briefly before when I said, oh shit, we need to go there. And look, you've actually got proper pathways now, vehicles. Definitely looks like vehicles. So if this is mining and it's in use, it's unlikely that Dylan would be in this area because you'd have constant flows of activity and if you know mining and stuff like that activity involves digging going into the ground so if someone's been buried they're going to be unearthed very quick so it would be too suspicious so we're back down here okay we've been here proper roadways you can see the discoloration as well in the ground as well and you've got that little shack there or a shed of some sort interesting Anything there? Nope. There we go. Now, I don't know if this is the one I marked last time. And that's like that typical mining equipment. Yep, yep, yep. And you can see. Yeah, this is definitely to do with mining. I know it doesn't seem to be marked. I don't know if it was marked previously, but I can't see anything. I don't know who works here. I don't know if any of the key suspects have or anyone else who owns it. If you know anything, feel free to let me know. If you know any information or historical facts, feel free to share it if you want to. Be appreciated. Interesting. You can tell just by the colouring. I can't see any holes though, so maybe it's to do with these buildings here. There could be a, some kind of mine shaft, maybe. I mean, it's, is it on the side? Yeah, it's, it's on the side of the mountain. Hmm. Come back down. Pathway all the way up here. Very winding. And then it splits off that way up there, which we already looked at. And up here as well. I would say it's more... What do you call it? Visitor friendly? I don't know if this is private land though. You can feel free to let me know. But it just seems a bit more friendly, you know, this area to get to. There's more access points, more roads. It's not as um, narrow and dodgy as you see on that side. Do you know what I mean? Look at that side, what we're looking at. Where are the pathways? You look here. Oh, look at that. Here, everywhere. Let's just go back up this way. Just higher up from that mine shaft I was telling you about. Look at the ground here. You see all the bits of deposits, you see the rocks and stones and everything, and then like what, the sand, the dust, you can see the texture of it. Look how it dips into the ground here. Look at that. So they must have already been doing work here to dig deep, because look at the colouring, it looks like it's been excavated in a way. And I guess with the pathways, vehicles getting up there in the first place to do the job. Any gold? Silver, I don't know. Looks a bit yellowish, but can't imagine it. And if there was any, it would have already been taken away. Is this private um private land? Can you access this or not? Just look back the way we came, okay? 
down that way. Can you see Montello? Yeah. If we just zoom in on this side though, back on Lucin side, it does curve round, you know, that that road from there. Curves round the back and comes down here. So even on this side, there's been work going on because you can see the track marks, can't you? Look at that. Track marks, finally, we found some. There's been a bit of work going on around this area, at least. Now, obviously, you've got to consider... Uh, actually, what's that, though? I don't know. What you've got to consider is this might not be in use anymore, or it's already been excavated and there's no more use for it. This is older imaging, 2019, I think. Just worth taking into mind. So we're back looking east that way. We're on the Montello side. Have I missed anything down here? There don't seem to be any other canyons or named places. Oh, we do have one here. Hogan's Alley. Sheep. Oh, whoa, Sheep Range. Fancy that being called that. Sheep Range. Haha. <laughs> Reminds me of Kenny Veach. You see a few broken down twigs and trees. Let me know, though, what catches your attention or when you're looking at an area, whether it be on Google Earth, Google Maps, or in real life, wherever you may be, whatever you're doing, what's the sort of things that catch your attention, your eyes? What stands out to you? Like, um, if you was somewhere or viewing something, what would make you, what would fill the criteria to make you think, oh, that looks a bit odd? That looks a bit unnerving, or that looks like the sort of place where you could hide something or someone. Let me know. Oh shit, that looks like the M. It looks like an M shaped that. I'm even gonna say the M cave. Well, it's not. Why has the brightness gone down a bit? I think it must be the dynamic, the dynamic brightness on this screen. Shame. But yeah, look at that. That's what catches my attention. So at the end of the day, maybe my my interpretations are different and heavily influenced by from what I've previously done when analysing mountain tops and stuff. Everyone, other people might have a different expectation, different understanding. But look at this, the overhang. This is the sort of stuff that makes me think. It is a bit too high up though, and very steep. But you can see those dark patches. That's what stands out to me. Hogan's Alley there. Anything else? I still don't have the coordinates for Jim, Jim's trailer, so I don't know the distance from that to the mountain area, unfortunately. Patterson Pass, as I said, you remember earlier, where it crosses over. Well, not quite. And then you can go up that way. So, it's all dark there. There's not much going on here. As I, I don't want to spend too long in this area because it's way too steep and rocky. Parson Spring. You can see where we've covered so far. Killian Springs. Cottonwood Springs. Too steep there and impractical. Very flat and basic here. Quite a bit of vegetation. Goes up. Way too steep. Dark patch there. That's steep that, look at that. Little canyon, these are the things that catch my attention where it's very narrow, not as accessible, less popular. A place that doesn't look as appealing or as safe will put people off. Obviously it will still encourage others to explore, but it'll be probably less favorable. Now, in this area, not far from it, you've got these like grid sections of buildings and stuff. And as I said, I've already covered this area, the roading and the, how it's distributed. Pilot Peak, what's the nearest thing near Pilot Peak? That or there. A pool or a pond, that's more official. But that business or whatever, there's, an, there's a road and it goes this way, up to here, this point, and then it bends back, 
goes up this way and does it actually go to the mountains because if you've got certain businesses where it does that might explain to why there's traffic and activity oh it goes up to here Ooh. i don't think i marked this one in the past okay if i like road how far is it from damn look at that look how like secluded it is and where it's located nearby to pilot peak and it's just wedged in the in the up here. Damn, look at this. Okay, this stands out to me. Damn, damn, damn. Is that a truck? Or an RV? What do you think? It could be a truck. And why is it parked sideways? It looks like you can see the window on the, the front of it. What's this? Is this a mine shaft? Or a shed? Or is this a bunker? Because this is what you've got to take in mind, I've just remembered. There's supposedly these, like, what do you call them? Doomsday preppers and bunkers, underground ones, and they're by the side of a mountain top that go into the mountain or the lower base of it. Salty Pancakes had a source from somebody, shared it on his community tab page of some kind of bunker that people were saying it was Kurtz, but it's not, or something, or it's not as anticipated as what it was described as one or the other but yeah look at that what do you think this is this location it kind of looks a bit more secluded a bit more dodgy this is my sort of thing look at that and nearby on this road where it comes to a dead end look at this okay building there they look like solar panels i might be wrong correct me car there or some kind of truck that looks like an actual house like a makeshift one you got like a chimney or something car there is that an rv a trailer why does it stick out at the side oh wait is it one of those uh what do you call it uh roof things that pops out by the side to create a bit of shading to block out the sun so you can sit under it or like a veranda or something to, if it's raining as well interesting so there's a bit of activity going on in this area and it's very close to the base. Well, it's not even the base. It's actually um, kind of halfway up the mountain. So that is interesting, that. Wait, is it? Or did I zoom out too much? Let, no, let's say it's at the base of Pilot Peak. Let's say. So with these little areas and spots, the closer it is to the mountains and the activity going on, is the high activity, low activity, or what? We're reaching the end now, as you can see. I won't say as much has shown on this side. It's been easier to see and clearer and the quality as well. Look at that. Very dark. There's been a few more dodgy areas though, I would say, on this side. Like what we saw previously with that RV. The way it was parked up and situated. But as I said, there's certain areas that look like it could be visited by several hikers over time. So... That wouldn't seem likely for a suspect to go to, to dispose of someone or something. But then there were some areas which were a bit more secluded, arguably tougher to access. But if you're determined and you want to get rid of something, you're going to put yourself through it regardless. And we come to the end here, the spine of it, as it flattens out. What's that there? Not much. Luckily, the image maintained its quality which is good and there we go right at the base of it quick run over like an aerial one if you want to call it that we're going to go over to the middle directly the middle of the mountain top and you let me know if you see anything try and follow it correctly the highest point the peak why is that purple that must be reflection or something Look at that, purple and green. <laughs> Dodgy. Look at that. Just trying to go right down, and you see it just drops back down, boom. Like this way. You see the border there to the left, it kind of goes off a bit wonky, as I said. Comes back down this way. Drops down significantly. And you do notice it goes up and down. Sheep range, spring. 
you got the mining quarry area here. Goes back up to Bald Eagle Mountain. Gradient drops back down. Drops back down. And which way is it from there? Just so I don't get mixed up. It kind of... Um, it spreads out once we get down here. It does. It's disputed. You kind of lose that... That ridge. But hopefully that makes sense. One more time. So I said, on the left you got Montello, on the right Lucin, and that's kind of like the radius I filled in of the area. So uh, yeah. Okay, so as I said, apologies about the video if it's a bit too long, as long as this face. Um, one of my longer map analysis videos, can't lie, but. I just wanted to cover every angle possible, every road, pathway, crack, gap, hole, anything and everything into one video so you can follow along, okay? So I shouldn't, I shouldn't need to return back to this unless there's new developments. And sure, if people have investigated the area, um, have they investigated everything or did you only look at certain parts? You can leave comments down below. And as I said, if this is the area where Dylan could be, or where a suspect went for whatever reason at a point in time, what side do you think it's on? On the Montello side, on the side of the mountain, the base, or slightly higher up, as you saw where the quarry was, the mining zone, or that RV and that little house situated at the base of that mountain, or do you think it's on the loose inside, Dylan's land, over that way, because of um, the distance and stuff and being taken near to the mountain area where it didn't seem as uh, friendly when it comes to hiking in certain spots. So let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate it if you managed to get through this whole video or most of it, appreciate that. And yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'm sure Andrew will return soon. Goodbye.